Hey everyone, it's Ashleena. Welcome back to my channel. It is finally time to listen to the full album of Sleep Tokens, Take Me to Eden. I am so excited to be filming this. Um, I have already heard Granite and Chokehold. So if you want to go check out those reactions, they are on my channel. But listen, I've uh, made some past mistakes on this channel by skipping songs I've already heard on albums. And I feel like you just, we, we can't do that anymore. So we're going to listen to the album from start to finish. Albums are meant to be listened to in full. That's what most albums are for anyway, not these albums that come out that are just full of some good singles and some shitty songs. But I have a feeling this album is going to be spectacular. Um, I have some great news. I am going to see Sleep Token live. I got my code early. I forgot about it. I'm not going to lie. I was working that day um, and I had a meeting right at 10 when the tickets were on sale. So I forgot to go buy a ticket like the idiot I am. And so I think it was around 9 p.m. I noticed people were complaining about not being able to get tickets. And I was like, oh, my God, I even got a code and I didn't even try to get a fucking ticket. I felt so stupid. So I jumped on my computer, went on Ticketmaster, and there were only single seats left, which I'm like, <laughs> I was going by myself anyway. So I got a front row ticket. How I got a front row ticket is beyond me. I will put a picture here of where I'm sitting. Obviously, there is some, like, it's a blocked view of the screen, but like, I don't even care. I don't even care. I am so excited and I've only heard two of their songs. So guys, get ready. Um, I don't know what the protocol is for going to a sleep token show. I don't know if you're allowed to take pictures. I don't know if you're allowed to film, but if I can, I will do a concert vlog because I feel like that would be phenomenal. And obviously being front row, it's so easy to film without anyone being in your way. But don't get me wrong. I'm not going to film the whole show. I'm not that type of girl. I like to just put in snippets of, you know, little parts of songs and call it a day. But I'm thoroughly going to enjoy the show. I don't really have much else to say. I'm just really excited to get into this um, this album. On my channel on YouTube, I do edit out a lot of the song. Not a lot, but like a good 30 to 45 seconds of each song. So if you want to watch the full non-edited reaction, you're more than welcome to join Patreon. I make this available from my supporter tier all the way up to my groupie tier. So feel free to head over to Patreon if you want to check out the full unedited reaction. And if you can't, all good. You're not missing out on much. It's really just me head bobbing. Like I don't really say anything during the edits. I like to keep all that stuff on here for YouTube. So you're not missing much. But if you do, if that interests you, you can always head over there and check it out. Also, if you are going to become a patron, I obviously do put all of these reactions up way before I put them up on YouTube. Not way, like a day or two. Uh, so you get early access to videos. You get exclusive access depending on what tier you want. You get exclusive access depending on what tier you're on. And obviously there is Patreon only content for certain tiers and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm not trying to sell myself. If you don't want to become a patron, that's all good. Become a subscriber, subscribe, like, comment, and that helps my channel more than you know. Sleep Token fans, let me know if you're going to one of the shows. I'm going to the last Toronto show. I'm so excited. Okay, this song is called Chokehold. When we were made It was no accident I love his voice so much We were tangled up like branches
I always forget about that part. Just as good as the first time I listened to this song. Uh, I'm just reading here. Chokehold describes presumably Vessel's devotion towards sleep. His devotion is so deep that the grip sleep holds over him is a chokehold. Vessel describes how he came to worship, proclaims his duties to his deity with zeal, and pleads for sleep's guidance. So fucking good. Again, if you guys want to watch my first ever reaction to that song, I will put a link here for you and below. Let's listen to number two, The Summoning. Trail 
God. this song. Number one, that song is very long, and I didn't realize how long it was until I looked at the time where I'm like, okay, this is a six and a half minute song. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it at all. <sighs> what did I just listen to? That was phenomenal. Every part of that song, it was like a surprise kept coming and coming and then a different surprise. The only thing I didn't like is how it ended. I feel like it just kind of cut off, but... I'm not here to produce songs, but I guess they're like, yeah, this is long enough. Let's just kill it. Oh, my God. What a banger. Oh, I can't wait to hear that live. Uh, the Summoning was first released as a single in January 2023. It was the second single they released. This release takes a much different tone than the prior chokehold with a heavier tone reminiscent of 2019's The Offering. As is Sleep Token's fashion, listeners will be pleasantly surprised as the near end of the song takes a 180 degree turn with a funk interlude. Bro, I was not expecting that change up. I was just like, oh, oh, we're going there. Okay. Oh, we're going there. What the fuck is this band? What is happening? Wow. Okay. I am actually shocked and surprised on how I knew this was going to be a great album. I didn't realize I was going to fall in love with this band after like the first song I'm technically hearing for the first time. I've already, I'm already like three for three. There is just way too much good music in the world for people to not listen to. Okay, let's listen to Granite. Um, as always, I have heard this before. You can go and watch my original reaction to it if you like. We're just going to jam out because I feel like we got to do this shit in order. We got to do it in order. I fucking love this song so much. Like, even just the way it starts is epic. So far on like, your breath, the fucking chills instantly when he sings. Chest, you will never have to talk about I can't with this song. Just somebody I was destined to me. I see you go half blind when you look in at me. But I am now. Between the second hand smoke and the glass on the street. The lyrics. Nothing whatsoever but a reason to leave. You say you want me. You should know I'm not what you need. But I am
this part. Like, can't with this band I can't how can you not love that song it is literally so good it's produced so well the guitar is sick the drums are sick the vocals are sick all the intricacies in the song that have been produced in <sighs> guys it's still so far my favorite sleep token song like holy macaroni I can't believe I just said that, but I am a mom, so like, take it lightly, okay? <laughs> okay, this next song is called Aqua Regia. Regia? I don't know how to pronounce it. Feel free to correct me in the comments. Um, I'm excited. Let's do it. I just don't know what to expect anymore. I don't even know what this band is anymore. A, a piano instrumental break? Are you kidding me? That song was beautiful. But like the lyrics are fucking fantastic. I'm going to be swearing a lot in this video. 
Well, my love is an animal call cutting through the darkness, bouncing off the walls between teeth on a broken jaw, following a blood trail, frothing at the maw. These days, I'm a circuit board, integrated hardware you cannot afford. The perfect start to a perfect war, putting down the roses, picking up the sword. What kind of genius shit is this? Like, I can't. Oxytocin running in the ether. Or ether, however you pronounce it. Silicon ballrooms, subatomic interactions, if it's all good. Gold rush, acid flux, saturate me, I can't get enough. Cold love, hot blood, running to your heart when you're thinking of. Okay, okay, I'm okay. I'm a little warm. I'm a little warm. <laughs> Guys, this band is sick. The single is a mixture of concentrated nitric and hydrochloric acids, usually one part of the former to three parts of the latter by volume. This mixture was given its name literally royal water by the alchemists because of its ability to dissolve gold. Okay, well, that's good to know what it means. Oh, these guys are insane. So Vessel wrote this song. I don't know if he wrote all of them. I should check every time I hear a song, but... Uh, we can always just go back. Okay, the summoning was also written by Vessel. Is there more than... Okay, Vessel 1. Okay, is there more than one Vessel? I'm so confused. Guys, I know nothing of, like, who these guys are, their names, um, anything like that. I know their identities were leaked somehow. I know nothing. I, I still know nothing. Do I care? No don't care. I think it's bullshit that it was. I already talked about this in my last video, but yeah, you won't be hearing their real names or any of that information from me. I'm just here to listen to the music. Okay, let's listen to the song Vor. I hope that's how it's pronounced, but I'm sure I'll find out just like I did in Aqua Regia. <laughs> My hair is slowly getting bigger.
I am so glad that song had a fade out. It's like the perfect song for a fade out. I think you can tell by my facial expressions alone that I am thoroughly fucking shocked by this band. Like, I knew they were going to be good, but like, here, I'm going to try to describe this as much as I can. I'm a really big silver chair fan, okay? I'm not comparing them. I'm not comparing them. Like, when I first heard silver chair, I would kill to have been doing reactions to music when silver chair came out to see my facial expressions when I first heard like emotion sickness or Anna song. I haven't felt this way listening to a new band like the feeling I got when I first heard Silver Chair. I am like all in my feels right now. I'm getting like emotional in the sense where I'm just like, oh my God, this music was made for me. Like this band was made for me. That's what I'm getting. I don't know if you guys have had that same experience. I know sleep token have a huge following but like I haven't connected with a band like this and don't get me wrong I love so many bands new bands like Alex on Fire like The Warning like whoever even Aurora like Billie Eilish I love all these artists and things but I've never felt like how I felt when I first heard Silverchair and I'm, I'm freaking out a little bit Like, Emotion Sickness is my all-time favorite song by, obviously, Silverchair. But I just remember the feeling I had when it first came out in 1999. It has been 24 years since I have felt that same feeling when listening to a band. And I'm actually just, like, in shock. I was 14 years old. I'm literally sitting with my 14 year old self right now. And it is a very strange feeling. I'm in a weird vibe right now. I can literally picture myself like sitting in my childhood like bed at 14 years old, listening to Silverchair's full album for the first time. Not like their first album, but that album. Like, Neon Ballroom was, like, my everything. At 14, what was wrong with me? Okay, let's listen to the next song. It's called Ascensionism. I honestly read that and thought it was going to be more difficult to read. (laughs) I don't know why. Uh, They have a song called Are You Really Okay? That should have been the song after Vor. Like, no, I'm not okay. Okay, let's get into Ascensionism. Ascensionism. (laughs) I swear to God, I'm going to start crying. Where are my glasses? Like this, who encrypted your dark gospel? 
blissful in body language Synapses snap back in blissful language Tell me you met me in past lives, past life, past what might be eating me from the inside, darling Half of a rhythm, half deity Glitches in the cold, all gaps in a strange dream Tell me you guess my future and it mapped onto your fantasy Tell me into your mannequin and I'll turn you into clear paradise Diamonds in the trees, pentagrams in the night sky Lipstick, chemtrails, red flags, pink nails with one eye on the door of the that what in the shit is this band i was expecting more like ballady heavy metal but then it got into like a hip hoppy vibe and i'm just like you know this band is like made for me i am in awe of this song this song is phenomenal what the fuck now i'm not really okay so we should just listen to are you really okay Okay, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I did get a little bit emotional during that song. It was the lyrics, man. It was the lyrics. It it this song made me go from like, ooh, this is so pretty to oh, we're we're bopping, we're jamming, we're having a good time into <laughs> like what? I just think these lyrics 
are so well done. The intro, well, I know what you want from me. You want someone to be your reflection, your bitter deception, setting you free so you take what you want and leave. And then you go to the end of the song and he's like, and I know what you want from me. You want the same as me, my redemption, eternal ascension, setting me free so I'll take what I want and leave. Like, you make me wish I could disappear. Wow. So this track describes how Vessel submitted himself to someone who sought to control and or deceive him. Vessel exposes his own vulnerability and pain and requests that they turn him into their mannequin. In contrast, the subject is described to be half algorithm, half deity, and suggested to have inhuman features with more than two eyes. This description could be that of sleep tokens, fictive god sleep, and it could pertain to a human partner Vessel has had in the past. Well, I bloody well hope so, because that's the vibe I got. And just like the description of the girl, lipstick, chemtrails, red flags, pink nails, with one eye on the door, other eye on a rail, other eye following a scarlet trail, and the last few drops from the holy grail. Now rose gold chains, ripped lace, cut glass, blood stains on the collar means just don't ask. Be the first to the feast, let's choke on the past, and take to the broken skies at last. Like, what? What a lyricist. God damn. And we're only on track seven? Let's do Are You Really Okay? Because we all know I'm not. Okay, before the song starts, and I just wanted to say this, and then I heard the, the few little notes at the beginning. This is like all my favorite genres in one band it's a little country it's a little hip-hop it's heavy metal it's rock and roll it's new metal it's like every genre is just in this band and for someone who is as as eclectic as I am when it comes to music this just fits my vibe I am obsessed I'm so fucking glad I got a ticket to their show okay let's do let's do are you really okay this melody and write my own song oh my god
What a beautiful song. So sad. Ugh. I don't know if I mentioned this. I'm just reading on Genius.com the lyrics, and it tells you like little things about the songs. And it says, um, are you really okay? Have Vessel addressing a subject who seems to self-harm, expressing his wish to help them and pleading that they don't hurt themselves again. That is self-explanatory. <laughs> wow, that's really sad. It's a great song. I love the little country twang in the guitar. I love the drums. Holy shit. How do... <sighs> They made like such a simple sounding song sound amazing. And then you just throw like these heart broken lyrics on top and you're just like, thank you for wanting to make me cry. Okay, this song is called The Apparition. Every time I see the word apparition, I think of Matt Good. Apparition. Such a fucking great song. <laughs> if you don't know that song, go listen to it. It's wonderful. Why are you never real whenever you appear? You leave me with that grace. I am trembling with fear. But I know that you will disappear just as I awake. A whisper in my ear. fade out you fuckers nah I needed more of this it's a pretty long fade out though but I need it that would have been nice for like a good 30 seconds to just jam to oh my god this song is sick uh, this track addresses a subject who seems to haunt Vessel's dreams appearing consistently, but without enough presence to be real, even though their appearances seem to inflict anxious or depressive symptoms upon him, Vessel fears that they will cease to visit him and pleads that they either let him go or take him with them. That's crazy shit. I'm so glad I don't have fucked up dreams. Whew, that's crazy. All right, let's listen to... D Y W T Y L M. Do I even want to scroll to find out what the song is called? Nah, let's be surprised. What in the shit is this? Sounds like a dance song. This band is everywhere. Do you roll with the waves? Do you duck into deep blue safety? Is it always 
is the same. This shit better grow so hard. Do you wish that you love me? Do you pull out the chains? Or do you push into constant aching? Each and every day. Do you wish that you love Are you trying to live? Like everything is a lesson to learn. Can you ever forgive yourself? Do you wish that you love me? My reflection just won't smile back at me like I know it should. And I would turn into a stranger in an instant if I could. Something easily. Do you wish that you loved me? And it's been so long that I'm forgetting what it feels like. But I'd rather not remind myself and leave it all behind. And I try so hard. Okay, this is so weird for this album because it literally just sounds like like a poppy dance song. And so if this was the first Sleep Token song I've ever heard and then I listened to other songs, I would have been so confused. So I'm kind of glad that didn't happen. But a perspective shift across the album narrative, the song lyrically progresses from a state of obsession and guilt into a track that spans a unique melodic and lyrical shift, a seeming resolution of comfort seeing Vessel observing the time pass between the albums and begging the worth of self-hatred, living vicariously through an idyllic lens, contrasting the acceptance and worth and moving on. Okay, well, obviously the song is called Do You Wish That You Loved Me? I like it. Because I like this type of music. I'm just confused where this fits on this album. It's so, like, it, it, it technically fits because they have, like, the similar parts in other songs. But this didn't even have a drum. What's the drummer doing during this song? Interesting. I don't know how I feel about it. But regardless, like, the lyrics are great. It's very, it's a very minimalistic song, but I'm not mad at it. I actually dig it. Like, it's a great song. It's just, I was not expecting a song like this. I'm confused. Okay, this song's called Rain. For so long I have waited So long that I almost became Just a stoic Statue fit for nobody, and I don't want to get in your way. But I finally think I can say that the vicious cycle was over the moment she smiled at me. So sweet.
The rain in the background. So rain down on me. Token, take me to church. That's so crazy. Wow. That song was very crazy in the sense where it was very like the hip hoppy vibe and then it went hard. Yo, that's my jam right there. Oh my God. I'm going to be listening to this album nonstop. Okay. This song is so deep. You can really feel his emotions pouring through the song like rain. Wash the salt off the wounds of your soul, the mouth of the vicious wolf shows how the endless emotional cycle that repeats when in a relationship that's unhealthy. How when you're in an unhealthy relationship, you ignore the signs that tell you to get out because you love them. It's a game of emotions that play with both people. Rain Down On Me describes the realization that everything about the relationship was not as real as you believe. The song is about waiting for the other person to become emotionally invested, but in the end, the relationship will never stop being a game played. He will always go back to her even when he shouldn't. She's the venomous serpent that spoils his veins. Wow. Okay. Goddamn. This album is insane. Um, I'm getting like, I can't really like picture a band that's like this. But it was, it's like if Labyrinth came out with a heavy metal album. Like, that's the vibe I'm getting. And Labyrinth is a phenomenal producer, let alone singer, songwriter. But if he came out with a heavy metal album, this is Sleep Token is what I would picture. So we're going to listen to Take Me Back to Eden. If you guys don't know, that's my daughter's name. So this is why I'm like loving the name of this album. So let's hope I love this song. It's already pretty. The birds. Oh my god, it's like drifting from one headphone to the other. It sounds so good. I dream in phosphorescence, bleed through spaces, see you drifting past the fall, but no one's told you where to go.
love the heaviness of the song. And then it gets so quiet again. Oh my god, they're so smart. Well, yeah, I spit blood when I wake up. Stop Sink it. porcelain Stop strings. It. Can I bring matter and makeup? Just two days since the mainframe went down and I'm still messed up. Room feels like a me freezer. I dangle in like cold cuts. Missed calls, answer phones from people I just don't trust. Mirror talk, fake love, but I'll take a pound of your flesh before you take a piece of my paste up. White roses, black doves, got mother. Up. I need you to see me for what I have become My, my, those eyes like fire I'm a winged insect, you're a funeral pyre Come now, bite through these wires I'm awakening I love the little piano in every song It's so cool who in the band plays piano I guess it goes to show does it not the we've no idea what we've got until we lose it Nah, you guys should have just cut this song. We, I want to hear all this very loudly. Oh my god, what a jam. Um, speculation has gathered around the symbolism of form, instinct, and return within references to Eden. Um, despite this, at 8 minutes and 21 seconds, the song has become the longest track to date by the band, topping the second longest when the bow breaks by almost a full minute. Uh, Sleep Token boldly reconfirming a true love of the epic. The title track is eight minutes plus while further exploring and developing those elements that keep the music removed from any kind of pack howling at a moon that's all its own. Okay, guys, I am in awe of this band. I am in absolute awe. Let's listen to the last song. It's called Euclid. <laughs> Just don't know what to expect when you hear a song from the first time from them. Just run it by, gave me five old minutes. I am fixed out on the inside, burning. I've got a ghost in the hallway, grinning, and a heavy head that it won't stop turning. If my fate is a bad collision, that if my mind is an open highway, give me the twilight to wave vision. Right on a sunset skylight Call me when you get 
way to finish an album that was beautiful what an anthem song like I feel like anyone at any age could listen to that and just feel how good that song is the track seems to conclude the trilogy of sundowning this place will become your tomb and take me back to Eden by closing with lyrics from the night does not belong to God the first track of sundowning even referring to when the bow breaks from the EP one. Oh my god I love that okay I definitely need to do a deep dive of all of sleep tokens music before i hit their concert because i don't know what concert what's going to happen i don't know what songs they're going to sing i don't know what they're going to do obviously when they do their first show i can check the set list i don't know if it will change i just want to make sure that i am ready for this show i am shocked and just so thrilled and happy that i finally listened to this full album because it because it is absolutely stunning literally from start to finish every song was so good I like more songs than others but like that's normal but I feel like continuing to listen to this album I'm gonna just fall deeper and deeper and deeper in love and then I I just I don't know I just had a moment where I was like holy shit I feel like I'm 14 all over again and that has never happened to me before. This is insane. This album is crazy. It was produced so well. It sounds so good. All of the little things they added into it just made the songs even better. The drumming. And I know the Sleep Token drummer won Drumeo's uh, Drummer of the Year Award, which obviously, like, that is insane. The drumming in these songs are insane. The guitars in these songs are insane. It's just the the change ups and the surprises and just you don't know what to expect. It's insanity. I, I need to know. I need to know your thoughts on this album. I want to know what your top three songs are. I want to know what I should do next. Um, obviously, I, I'm going to stay away from like music videos and things like that because I just don't care. And I know a lot of them are just images and things like that. So it's not really 
productive. Um, but if you guys want me to listen to their EPs or previous albums, let me know what I should do first. I am ecstatic to be listening to this band. They are phenomenal. The lead singer, eh, if, um, if you're new to my channel, I have a thing with singers. Um, as a vocalist, I listen to bands who have really good singers. If the band doesn't have a good singer, I just can't listen to them. And Sleep Token has a phenomenal vocalist. Like the hip hop vibes, the R&B vibes I'm getting, the heavy metal, the new metal. It's just insanity. And I'm here for it. I'm stoked. Oh my God, I love this band so much. Guys, my vinyl of the day is Billie Eilish, which I'm sorry, but like if Billie Eilish and Sleep Token did a track, it would be so good. Like, have you ever heard Billie Eilish's song with Labyrinth? So good. I'm getting Labyrinth vibes. If Labyrinth did heavy metal, it would be Sleep Token vibes. Anyways, um, I bought this vinyl on like a Boxing Day sale. Um, and I just, I love a lot of the songs on here. So I was like, this should be something I have in my collection. Um, when the party's over, you should see me in a crown. Um bury a friend I suggest those three songs to listen to if you've never listened to Billie Eilish before you know her songs are gangster I'm, I'm gonna say it her songs are pretty gangster so go check out those three songs and tell me what you think um and yeah I can't wait to listen to more sleep token thank you guys so much for watching this video with me I know it was a long one I did not realize how long this album was or how long some of the songs were I just went for it I gotta go walk my dog He's looking at me like he's going to murder me. So I hope you guys have an awesome day. Please go to the comments and let me know your top three songs, what I should do next, and I'll see you in my next video.